Michelle Peer is, quite simply, a creative. She staked her claim in the local community as a go-to resource for the art crowd and has made a name for herself as a leader in organizing events and workshops that showcase the vast amount of talent for people that love to express themselves. And when she's not creating fantastic works or perfectly capturing moments, you can find her out on the waves enjoying the natural beauty that her beloved island home offers. Never one to rest on her laurels, this 31-year-old Dynamo is launching her most ambitious project yet, an art studio featuring her works over the years. And with us now on our fashion and art edition of KUAM News Extra is the talented Michelle Pierre. And thanks so much for joining us. I know it's a very busy day and the holidays are crazy. <laughs> so tell us more about the opening of your art studio. Yeah, so I just opened it on December 16th. And it's, um, it's a private working studio and gallery. So it's where I'm creating all my pieces and where people can come and see all my pieces in one place. And also, I'll be holding uh, some workshops and painting classes and, you know, small events there as well. And I, I think this is pretty cool because it's also in line with, like, all the revitalization happening in Haganya. Yeah, I You're love located it. right on top of Mosos? Yes, I love it. I love where I'm at. It's a really feel-good space. Um, you know, it's in the heart of Haganya. And um, so you still have a little bit of, like, kind of a little city-ish vibe going on. But, you know, I have trees outside my studio. That was a requirement. <laughs> You know, I have to keep the aesthetic still inspiring and a nice aesthetic space. And I imagine there's a lot of windows. Yes, there are. So can you tell me, you know, how long is this studio, how long have you been working on a studio, opening a studio? Well, I mean, I didn't know I was working on it eight <laughs> years ago, but if I really look at the journey now, um, you know, this all started in 2008 when I got back into painting and I did everything on my kitchen table and then that eventually morphed into, you know, where I was staying in Talafofo into just the one little space in the middle of the room that I share with my two little boys. So everything, even these big pieces were created in this tiny space, no bigger than where we're sitting right now. <laughs> so, you know, so I was always holding the intention for more space. Like I need more space. I need more space. Mm -hmm. So it was something that I was always telling myself and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll get more space one day. But I didn't know I was going to open a studio until um, just over the last year or two, couple years, I, you know, was looking at other spaces, you know, I even considered Chamorro Village and just different areas and looked at all my options. And, you know, when Mosa's opened downstairs, I knew there was this space available upstairs and I went and looked at it and I just loved the feel of it. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of had my heart set on it, even though I didn't know how I was going to pull it off. I didn't know when it would happen, if it would even happen. And so just this year, I really kind of put my heart and soul into raising some extra money to cover the basic capital and all that and uh, leased the space in June and have been renovating it here and there in between everything else, you know, over the last six months and opened it uh, on December 16th. So how was that opening? Oh, it was great. It was nice. Had all my uh, friends and family there. You know, it was a nice uh, steady crowd throughout the evening. Popped a bottle of champagne and just, you know, I had everything exhibited, all my available uh, work and stuff. And um, I gave away uh, two paintings, one an original and one a print. And so, yeah, it was, it was really fun. It was nice to have everyone come see the space, see all the work that I put into it. And if you need some last minute Christmas shopping, they could head to oh, your yeah, studio? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, in fact, um, we're doing a charity event there, uh, Tunes for Toys, and my studio will be open. And um, at the moment, I don't have like set open hours. Um, so if you're interested in coming and see the, seeing the space, you can either just stop by and, you know, I have a sign outside Creative Indeed in the Mosa's parking lot there. Just take the back stairs. If I'm not there, you can always call or text me. All my info is on my website, creativeindeed.net. And coming in the new year, I will set uh, basic open studio hours and stuff. Yeah. So I'm seeing more studios open and more people just yeah. growing an interest in painting and, yeah. and getting hands on with art. Mm -hmm. What's what's your reaction to that? I oh, mean, I love it. Uh, Talia with Color Guam is right behind me, like literally right <laughs> behind me. And so it's cool. I see her doing her workshops and stuff. And um, as far as I'm concerned, the more the merrier. The more people creating art, you know, it's it really does just improve things for everyone. So I love it. I'm excited when I hear about people um, venturing into new projects like this. And, you know, it just it gets people more excited and it encourages more people to create. So I love it. Because I've been to a few of these art workshops or these painting workshops yes. and I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> I mean, I... I, I think that my strokes are too thick. It ends up looking like my makeup, which is just too thick. So can I tell you a secret? <laughs> What's the secret? 
everyone thinks that. <laughs> really? <laughs> everyone's thinking well, the same thing. Everyone's looking at someone else's like, wow, hers is really nice. Uh, uh, you know, everyone goes through the same range of emotions as you're going through the creative process. It just doesn't happen in the same order for mm -hmm. everyone. But every, like, every single painting I do, there's at least one moment where I'm like, oh, I messed it up. I messed it up. I shouldn't even have bothered. You know, and then you have to come back to it. Because I want to just quit and walk it, away. Yeah. And sometimes it's good to walk away. I do that all the time too. When I get frustrated, I was like, okay, you need to step outside and take a deep breath and like do some yoga or something and then come back to it when you feel oh, good. Because we were drawing, we were painting the Eiffel Tower and I was like, no, my oh. Eiffel Tower doesn't look like that. Yeah, that's a lot of detail cute. in it's that. It's not as narrow. Mine kind of looks short. The water yeah. doesn't look reflective. Uh, yeah. So it's just I, not comparing yourself. I encourage people to let go of their expectations. Um, you have this idea of this image you're supposed to be creating. Uh, let go of the supposed to's, the shoulds, the expectations. Be gentle with yourself. <laughs> trust yourself and trust that whatever you do create is going to be perfect. And I understand you. you do a lot of commission work. <laughs> I do. So talk about that. Where can they get a hold of you? And what are maybe the most popular pieces you get commissioned to do? Sure. Um, I do, I've been doing this year a lot of the Divine Mother pieces. Um, People ask me to do roosters, um, waves, ocean scenes. There's quite a variety. Uh, Tautamona trees, that's one of my favorite mm -hmm. subjects to paint. Um, so, you know, I have a very intuitive kind of abstract scenic style. So um, if someone's going to commission me to do a painting, I usually ask, you know, if they're familiar with my work first right. um, because I'm very flexible about the process and it's very intuitive for me. Um, I don't do like exact specifications to stuff like that. So I make sure they're familiar with my style in general first and that I feel good about the piece as well as them. So Okay, again, you can find Michelle and her studio, Creative yep. Indeed, on top of a mo uh, Mosa's in mm -hmm. Hagatnya. Again, she doesn't have any set hours, but you can check out her website, creativeindeed.net. You can also check mm -hmm. out her Instagram. Yes. I was just Facebook... Facebook and Instagram stalking yep. her before this. Creative <laughs> underscore indeed. If you want to just look at the pictures. Yes. They're beautiful. Thanks yes. so much, Michelle, for Thank coming you. in today. Thank you.